Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In my last video, I have told you how you can trigger Jupyter Notebook, that is uh, SageMaker Jupyter Notebook file from AWS Lambda. Now, in this video, I will tell you how you can trigger or schedule your AWS Lambda at particular time. And for that, you can use the event bridge. So, we'll discuss today about the event bridge. So, this is that uh, tutorial, AWS tutorial that you can follow along with me or uh, you can I will give this link in description you can follow it so what is the use case here is let's suppose that you you have one lambda function and with that lambda function you have written some business uh, use case so maybe in that lambda function you are you are you are written the code to get data from the API and that you want to run at 10 o'clock or every two hour or Monday 10 p.m. IST time, PST time or any time means whatever the scenario it is you can schedule your lambda function and that particular time of the lambda function will trigger even you can schedule it weekly, bi-weekly or uh, monthly so everything is possible using event bridge so let's jump there so before that i will just create one small lambda function that will just print some statement i will not going to write any uh, function that will get data from api or uh, any big logic just imagine that you have some lambda function there so i will just write here test trigger and i will take lamb python 3.0 that is fine let it create automatically it will have the basic lambda permission means basic lambda function will have that s3 and cloud watch log permission so now it is created so what i will do is i will just print one statement here let me delete this all these things just right here print test event bridge okay deploy it run it so this is working fine if you see here web bridge so for monitoring purpose there is one tab called monitor you can open cloud watch log here and you can see the log so I have just run one time so I have one log. So whenever lambda function will run, it will create the log in log log group CloudWatch, and you can see it. So now I will not run manually. Right now, what I have done is for testing purpose, I will just trigger it here manually. So I will not run now. I will schedule this lambda using CloudWatch. So what I will do, I will go to the event bridge event bridge AWS Amazon event bridge in that there is one tab called rule and also there is a tab called schedule also you can use anything so there is some difference uh, I will discuss later but you can I will go with rules here if you go with the rules here you can select make a default bus that is fine and create the rule you can Right trigger test lambda you can give any lem name description fine no problem this is also fine so there's two things if you will create a schedule here so that's nothing but that, that uh, you saw here so schedule that is same thing and if you want to follow any event pattern then you can go with rule with event pattern so I will I will go with first let's see what is there inside. So you can give the uh, rule here okay so I will not go with this I will go with schedule why because I want to schedule my lambda function at particular time so again I will go to create rule okay a rule that run when an event match the defined event pattern event based send the event to the specified target so this is the some based on some event pattern if you want to trigger your uh, lambda or any other services then you can use this one but i want to schedule it so i will go to schedule and uh, 
uh, if there is two options so you see, you see there uh, before that if you see if you click here schedule it is nothing but the continue with the event event based schedule this one and this one is same so i want to continue with the rule so i will go here and create with rule so give the rule name as trigger event test even you can go with this also event based schedule this is a new capacity that there are many more features is added there but uh, for this example i will go with uh, continue with the create rule and later maybe in some other video i can i will demonstrate uh, a continue with event as, schedule as well so i give the name and then continue to, to create rule so again here there are two options why the two options are given is let's suppose that you want to use the cron expression or uh, you have know, triggered particular time uh, 10 o'clock or 5 past 7 anything weekly then you can use the cron expression or if you repeat the regular task let's suppose that I want to run in every uh, 12 hour or every 2 minute every 1 minute then you can go for uh, regular rate so now you will can if you want to set this cron things so there is one very good website that's called cron tab guru or cron guru let me just see what is that cron guru okay cron guru from here you can uh, yeah cron guru and uh, see here let's suppose that i want to run uh, every day at four o'clock or five past four o'clock okay so what pattern you have to give you have to give five four and then star 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 Okay, I will give 5, 4, star, 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 star. So, minute, hour, month, okay, day of month, month, and so you can find out uh, these things easily. Based on requirement, you can set the cron, uh, cron tab. You can take the help of chat GPT also, just to write the chat GPT, then give me the cron expression uh, to run my lambda job at particular time, or give me the cron expression to run uh, at particular time it will give you or you can come to the contact dot group and write you can take the help from let's suppose i want to run three o'clock so I, I already have the example if you see here there are lot many example is there already so you can take 10 o'clock so you can take 10 okay four o'clock four and ten or uh, it's fine so i anyway i'm not going to demonstrate this part Maybe if you have any scenario, you can do it. If you have any uh, any problem, you can uh, comment on. I will help you. Now, this is schedule, and this one I want to run every two minutes. Why? Because I pause my video and it will run. So this is fixed rate two, and I will select here minutes. Okay. Or let me just select only one minute so that I can show you. Then next. And then you can select here service which it will service I need. I need lambda service. So here it was lambda is there. What is my lambda name? Test trigger, correct. So that's all. You don't have to do anything. If you want, uh, see here also they have given like how uh, maximum age of the event. Uh, retry try by default is 185 times. This is all you can change it because uh, let's suppose that uh, uh, lambda has failed, so it will keep retrying, okay, by default, and it will be costly also. So, best practice is to keep it 6 or 2, okay, and uh, you can schedule the dead letter queue as well. Let's suppose that if your lambda get failed, then you want to uh, keep it into the queue, okay, DLT queue. So you can configure all those things, but that's fine for testing purpose. I'm just using AWS and Lambda basic configuration and uh, do next. Next, that's all. Create rule. Okay. Once once the rule will be created here, you come here and if you refresh it, right now there is no trigger. Add trigger is nothing is there, right? Or you can directly come here and you can use the add trigger met from here as well to you can add it but what i have done is i went to the event bridge 
and added the trigger from there so if you refresh it here so you will find out see see when bridge is added if you click it you can see enabled so by default sometimes it is disabled you can go there and enable it and there is one option called uh, see right now it's enabled if uh, sometimes it not run you have to check it whether this is enabled or disabled you can if you don't want to run you can just disable it from here or if you want to use uh, any cloud formation template you have the option you can cop download it and you can use this in cloud formation template and automate the job so that's all for this uh, this is for one minute mm, let's see it is running or not it ran or not because first time i ran, ran it manually so i had one cloud watch log now if you see if it is if it ran, then you could have uh, two two cloud watch log it will wait for some time i will just give one minute so yeah see it ran okay so if i will wait for one more minute i will get see here test event bridge okay that's all for this video hope you have understand how you can trigger the lambda based on fixed interval and uh, how you can trigger the lambda based on uh, the particular time uh, using event bridge thank you very much thank you for watching